Hello, dear subscribers of our video channel. Glad to see you again. Today we will talk about the sphere of public procurement. On April 9th, the law on public procurement was adopted. Before the adoption of the law, this sphere was regulated by more than 30 legal acts. Along with this, the integrity of the public procurement system was absent, which resulted in legal conflicts. Multi-stage reconciliation and duplicate procedures created prerequisites for corruption and entailed a significant loss of time. Now, the current law will ensure openness and transparency of public procurement, competitive struggle in this sphere, and will make it possible to effectively use the state budget funds, centralized sources and enterprises with a share of the state. So, the law defines five types of procurement procedures, two of which completely exclude the human factor in making decisions on public procurement. In other procurement procedures, transparency is provided by publishing the necessary information on a special portal. For the first time, taking into account international standards, the new type of procurement procedure is introduced, such as purchasing from a single supplier, which is carried out in exceptional cases provided by the current law. The law takes into account the existing experience in the implementation of public procurement, as well as international practice. So, what's new in this law? Two different categories of government customers are introduced, budget and corporate. The National Agency for Project Management is designated as an authorized body in the field of public procurement. Previously, there was no authorized body in this sphere. A special portal for all types of public procurements is introduced. In the e-shop and auction, the winner is selected automatically by the electronic system. All types of goods, works and services, which are not subject to specific requirements, are purchased through an electronic store. Limit for budget customers, up to 25 times minimum wage, but no more than 2,500 times minimum wage per year. For corporate customers, no more than 250 times minimum wages. Earlier, through electronic trading, only essential goods were purchased at the exchange, listed in the list of 10 to 13 groups of goods, works and services, for up to 100,000 US dollars. Competitive bidding applies to all types of goods, works and services that meet the established criteria. Earlier, the mechanism for conducting competitive bidding was only effective in the field of capital construction. Moreover, some limits for tender are established. For budgetary customers, more than 6,000 times minimum wage. For corporate customers, more than 25,000 minimum wage. Earlier, the limit on tenders was 100,000 US dollars. The monitoring and control of procurement procedures are regulated. The Complaints Commission reviews complaints on all types of procurement. Previously, issues on control of public procurement were not regulated, and disputes and disagreements were considered by a special commission only in electronic procurement. These subscribers, we have outlined the main terms of the law. The full text of the law you can review on the social networks of the Ministry of Justice of the Republic of Uzbekistan. That's all for today. Follow us and take care.